Programming isn't about what you know, it's about what you can figure out. So especially uh, like where at first we are so anxious about knowing everything, especially language syntax. So problem solving is the skill we end up uh, using most, okay? So the only way to learn uh, a new programming language is by writing programs in it. So yes, today we are going to start with control statements in QBasic. Uh, so these control statements in QBasic normally programs are executed from top to bottom, okay? So in the order that they, were, they are written, but sometimes it is required to alter the flow of sequence of instruction in a program. So from that, QBasic provides some statements that can alter the flow of sequence of instructions. So the statement which alter and transfer the flow of program from one statement line to another are called control statements, okay? So mainly these are you know, what uh, these control statements, uh, they are of two types, okay? They are branching statement and looping statements. And we have branching statements, if then, if then else, and if then else if, select case, go to, and we have looping statements over here, for next, while when, do loop, nested loop, and branching statement, they are also further divided into two types, okay? Conditional branching and unconditional branching. So we have uh, conditional branching, if then, if then else, if then else if, select case. And then unconditional branching, we have go to. And we need to note over here that there is only one conditional, unconditional, sorry, unconditional branching statement in QBasic programming. That is go to statement, okay? There are no other unconditional branching statements. So now we'll deal about uh, these all one by one, okay? So today in this video, we'll be dealing about if then statement statement, okay, if then statement, and if then else statement, and if time permits, we'll also have a look at if then else if, okay. So let's start without wasting our time. So if then statement first. So if then statement, it is the most simple form of control statements, okay, which executes a block of statements only if the given condition or given expression is true, okay? If the condition is false, then if the if block will skip and uh, like uh, execution continues with the rest of the program, okay? So our syntax will be like this. If uh, we'll have condition expression and then we'll write then over there and then we'll write statement block, okay? Or if we'll have the condition expression, then we'll write in the next line statement, okay? And then we'll end even this if also, okay? This is our uh, like uh, if then statement syntax. So now let's uh, have a look in QBasic itself. Until and on this, we'll have a look on this QBasic itself. We'll not understand it. So we'll start with CLS, okay, as usual. Okay, so now. Okay, so uh, we'll write a program, uh, like uh, we'll ask, uh, marks from user, okay, enter your marks, okay, your total marks, and then uh, like we'll judge whether the user is pass or fail, okay. So if uh, like uh, we'll mention to uh, condition over there, if uh, M is uh, like uh, we'll uh, enter the marks and we'll assume that in uh, M variable, and if that M variable, if M your marks is 
like uh, greater than or equals to 40, then we'll print you are passed. And if it is less than 40, then we'll print you are failed. Okay. So like this will do. So let's start. Okay, well, input first. Input will ask from the user, enter your, okay, max, okay, total max. And then, okay, we'll uh, assume these marks as M, okay? Okay, I've assumed it as capital M. So if uh, this capital M, okay, this we have assumed this as capital M. So we need to write over here also capital M only. So if it is greater than or equals to 40, okay? 40, so this is our condition, okay? If I told no condition expression and we'll write uh, then, okay? Then, then we'll, we can write print, okay? Then print, okay, then what if we want uh, to print? You are, you are passed, okay? This is our, okay, statement block. If condition statement, okay, so now if another, like if M is, this max is, okay, uh, less than, uh, it is uh, like greater than or equal to 40, then you are passed. And if it is less than 40, then what will happen? You are failed, okay? So then print, okay? Then print, you are, okay? Now, and let's end it. Now let's check also uh, our execution to uh, like check our execution. We'll uh, like uh, press F5 directly. We can run our program, okay? And we'll get the, okay. Yes, so uh, let's check by entering our marks whether our program goes right or not. So enter marks, so first I'll enter marks more than 40, okay? Okay, suppose 87, okay, you are passed. Now let's again check uh, by entering less than 40, okay, suppose it's 39, okay, you are failed. So our program is running very well. Okay, let's uh, take another one example. Okay, let's take another one example. Now in this example, uh, what we'll do, uh, do is, like we'll enter a number, okay? And uh, with a modular division, we'll divide, uh, like mod with modular division, what can we do? We can, uh, if we divide a number, uh, we'll get the remainder, okay? Uh, like uh, this is a modular division mod, it is especially used in uh, QBasic, Okay, this uh, mod, it's used in QBasic and uh, this mod uh, operator gives the remainder after division of, a, of one number by another number. Okay, we'll obtain a number from the user and we'll divide that, that number by two. Okay, that number by two. If the remainder is like uh, zero, then uh, we'll say that that number is even, okay? And if the remainder is one, then we'll say that that number is odd, okay? So like this, we'll do it, okay? So now let's uh, start. Okay, let's start. We'll enter this time, we'll enter a uh, number, okay? We'll ask for a number. Okay, input. From the user input, enter a number, okay. Enter a number and then, okay, we'll assume this number as n, okay. Uh, this time I'm assuming as small n only, it doesn't matter. If uh, now this n is divided by uh, 2n mod 2, I'll write, okay, and it's divided by 2, and then if the remainder obtained is how much? 0, then we are going to print, then print, print, it is, it is even, okay, even number. Okay, now if n mod 
two is equals to one, okay? Then print, we can get a remainder more than one because it is there like we are dividing by two. Uh, it is odd, okay? Odd number. Okay, so now let's check even this also. Uh, let's check with F5. Okay, let's enter a random number. Uh, I'll enter 56, okay? Okay, it's even. Uh, it is divisible by two. So now let's even uh, check another one number. Okay, let's check 33, okay? Okay, it's odd. So like this, we'll be able to use if then statement. Now let's go to the next statement. Next statement we have if then else statement. Okay, now this if uh, then uh, else statement it is also a common control statement which is used to execute the multiple statements. Okay, depending on the condition, and this is also called two ways decision. Okay, two way decision statement. That uh, this one was if then was single way decision statement, but here we have two way decision statement. Okay, in this statement, if the condition is true, the statement after then will be executed, and if the condition is false, the statement in the else block will be executed. Okay, so now here we have like uh, the syntax like this if we'll mention the condition over there, uh, like. Uh, after if and then we'll mention the statement first statement and if this uh, statement is uh, like if this is true then it uh, will uh, execute this only and if this is false then it will go in this else statement and then it will do this it will execute this okay and then we need to end this up also okay so like this we'll be using our this if then else statement now let's uh, go in our key basic only okay we'll be almost using the like uh, these uh, two programs all we'll be doing with different uh, types okay okay we'll enter uh, like our marks only okay first and uh, after entering our marks if uh, like in the first condition if uh, it is uh, the our marks the will ask the marks from the user if these marks are uh, greater than or equal to 40 then uh, like i will print you are passed else will print you are failed okay we will not mention the uh, condition again if uh, like it is uh, the marks is uh, less than 40 Okay, will not uh, mention that condition, but else if it is uh, like it is uh, not what not greater than or equals to 40, then it will print what you are failed. So now let's check, let's do it. You'll understand more better. Okay, input. Enter your marks and let's uh, like uh, store these marks also and which variable okay m variable this time i'll store in a small m so and if uh, this m is uh, greater than or equals to 40 okay then then what will happen print Okay, print, uh, you are passed, okay? You are passed. Else, print, you are failed, okay? Failed close this in what it come also. 
Okay, so now let's end this. If also end if. Okay, so like this. Okay, so let's check our uh, executing it F5. Uh, we'll enter to, uh, like we'll execute two times. Uh, we'll enter max less than 40 also, and we'll enter max more than 40 also. So more than 40, suppose I'm entering 90. Okay, okay, you are passed. Now, next. I'll enter less than 40, one max, okay, 23. You are failed, okay? So that means our program is correct. Now let's check another one, the same one, uh, like uh, we'll enter, we'll ask a number from the user and with the modular division, uh, we'll uh, like uh, check the remainder and if that remainder is zero, then we'll print even number. If it is not zero, we'll print uh, it's odd, okay? So let's do that also, enter. Enter any number, okay, enter any number. I'll assume this number as N now. N, okay, capital N, I'll assume. If now, If uh, this capital N mod two, okay, divided by two, and the remainder is equals to zero, okay, zero, then we'll print uh, what? Then we'll print even number. Okay, even number else will print odd number okay if it is not equals to zero we don't have to define it again if it is not equals to zero then we'll print odd number okay 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 let's check our execution also five Okay, let's uh, enter two times to one number. I'll add the odd, okay, even, sorry, even. Okay, this is even number. Yes, and then another number, I'll again check. Let's enter a bit now, long number, one, one, zero, one, okay. Okay, it's odd. Uh, so this is how uh, we can use this, okay if then else statement now let's even uh, start with if then else if in the next video and uh, keep watching the videos keep enjoying yourself uh, you can learn many things uh, with the help of like writing the programs you can write similar programs okay using all these things uh,